Hey, this is Nick Tannehill. This is part two of our golf lesson today on Easter. Um, on the left, we still have Curtis Strange. Uh, this is the same video from before, just down the line. Um, and on the right, uh, we have your swing you just sent me. Um, so just this, like I said, this is going to be a smaller, uh, quicker video with just a few little things that I just wanted to touch on um, with you. A few uh, little small things. I mean, we touched on setup. Definitely wanted that spine tilted behind, like we said in first video, uh, that I want you what I want you to watch first, in case you are watching this one first. Um, so, uh, a few things I want you to work on. All right. So it looks like this foot is a little, um, little behind this one, which means uh, you're setting up for. Um, almost like kind of a cut swing. All right, so uh, if you do fade the ball like we talked about or like I kind of guessed or guesstimated, it could come back to the setup here. So one thing I want you to do is just uh, work on getting that kind of straightened out down the line a little bit. Um, it's tough to kind of see what your, um, your target is here uh, because it is a simulator, but uh, it is pretty close. Another thing that where that fade might come from is uh, the shoulders. They tend to be, they looked, they look a little open in this video along with, um, you know, a little bit of an open stance. And like I said, this could just be the, uh, the camera angle. It's kind of tough to tell. Um, but it's obvious here where you can see the feet line and the shoulder line. Let's see if we can draw it right. No, that one's not a good line. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. And so it looks like a little bit better. Um, you can see where a uh, little difference here as far as parallelness, that these shoulders are a little bit open. Um, compared to Curtis here, we're straight down. We're straight down. It's kind of tough to draw on shoulder angles. Um, but it's something small that I do want you to pay attention to. A good way that you can check this is just literally take your address position um, and put a club across your shoulders, um, across your, your front of your chest, um, coming up on your shoulders. It'll, you'll kind of see where they're pointing. Make sure they match your hips, your knees, and your feet. All right, it's a good way and an easy way just to check on where your shoulders are aligned. Um, and a big thing, like I said, is being sure to work on um, that, uh, that spine tilt. And just reiterating a few points here, um, you know, I definitely want you to, uh, you know, work on shortening that swing. All right. Like I said, it's going to feel probably like a 75% swing. And, you know, a good way to practice this is just make sure we're tilted even at the top of our swing and even just work on hitting 75% shots. Um, you know, this is Curtis Strange, one of the best ball strikers. Um, and, you know, obviously look at, look how short his swing is, or at least, um, compared to yours anyway, look how short it is. And he still pumps it out there. I promise you're going to hit it just as far, if not even further, because you're staying behind the ball. Um, you're definitely going to hit it more square and more in the middle of the face. Um, one other little small thing that I want you to work on is just work on maintaining this, this follow-through position. Um, I noticed on a few of the videos, not this one specifically, but the other one, sometimes you fall a little bit. It could just mean you're, you're trying to swing really hard, which goes back to us leaning toward the target a little bit more. At least whenever I swing really hard, um, I, that's sometimes what I do. I, I, try, I, I try to get way too much into it. I, swing, I overswing a little bit, and it starts leaning me toward the target. Um, you know, and then we, I, I have like a two-way miss almost whenever I start doing that. So um, just a few little check marks here. Um, just got to be sure to set up correctly. Um, make sure we're set up square to our target and, uh, you know, maintain that spine angle opposite of your target. All right. Even at the top of your swing, um, big swing thought is uh, left shoulder. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Right shoulder over left knee. Okay. Right shoulder over left knee at the top, tilted away. All right. You're going to do great. Let me know how this goes. Feel free to give me some feedback. Um, you can either comment on Fiverr or comment on YouTube, which I've had a few students do before. Totally fine. We can uh, chat and interact there. Um, feel free to, uh, like I said, let me know how I did in the review. And uh, look forward to uh, analyzing your swing some more in the future. Thanks again.